Four teenagers are suing the Northern Territory government after being tear-gassed in the Dondale Juvenile Detention Centre. The case was heard briefly in the Northern Territory Supreme Court this morning and our reporter Stephen Schubert joins me now from Darwin. Stephen, tell us what was heard in court this morning. Joe, as you mentioned, it was a quite brief court appearance, all up only about 15 or 20 minutes. It was mainly a date setting exercise, but there were a few more details given about uh, the boys. Now, these were the four boys who were sitting in their cells at the old Dondale Centre when tear gas was deployed. Indeed, there is CCTV footage of two of them sitting there playing cards as the tear gas is deployed. So they are suing the NT government. Uh, they are looking for unspecified damages. But in court today, we did hear that after they were tear gassed, they were shackled and they had spit hoods put on them and their lawyers said that they were treated roughly. So this is has been set down for a full trial starting in late September. And Stephen, there has also been talk of a counterclaim from the government. That's right. This was dropped last week on the direction of Chief Minister Adam Giles. Now, in court today, it was mentioned that this has not been formally dropped legally, but the lawyer for the NT government did indicate that the, uh, the Territory government was no longer seeking damages from two of the people suing them. They were looking for about $200,000 in damages uh, from a number of breakout attempts that happened after the tear gassing incident but since the ABC reported that story that counterclaim has been dropped. And Stephen were the teenagers in court today? No they weren't in court they are all out of custody now but they weren't in they w didn't appear in court though one would imagine that when the full trial gets uh, going uh, late next month they will be giving evidence there that trial is expected to last about two weeks. All right, Stephen Schubert from Darwin, thanks very much for speaking with us.